Uh, the biggest reward for me is when I see these young men and young women come in as freshmen and they leave as seniors and I could see the growth academically, athletically, and what kind of people we've molded them into. And so that graduation day when they walk across the stage and they get their diploma, uh, there's nothing better than that. I believe the most important skill that I've developed, well, there's two. One is listening and one is patience. Uh, in my younger days, I definitely didn't have patience. And the best people that I've been able to role model uh, my behavior, um, they've had excellent listening skills. And so I think those two, two things combined have helped me um, progress in my career. How we could become better, how we can make people better. I think that uh, why we've seen success at the various institutions that I've worked with and at, um, it's always been how do you get people better, how do you become better. And so I think if you have that philosophy, I th most institutions will have success. The best advice that I've ever been given, I don't know if you would say it's advice, but uh, it was from a woman named Ada Cole. And Ms. Cole was very helpful with, uh, with my developing career. So I asked her one day, how could I, or what could I do for you to show my appreciation? And she shared with me, she said, Kevin, whatever you think that I've done for you, what I would want you to do is do it for other people. And so I've tried to live that model and hopefully that I have helped other people in their career and their life as Ms. Cole helped me. The keys to my success, I think simple, that I've worked with great people, I've worked with passionate people, I've worked with people who have wanted to help other people be better, do better things in life, build a better society. And I think through working with those kind of people, it's made me a better person. You know, I have a great family and how we get away is I have a wife who's always planning things that are interest to each and every one of uh, our family members. I have two wonderful sons and two great daughters. Uh, we're from California, so we'll go to California and spend time with my in-laws. Uh, the great thing that's going to happen is that uh, for my next birthday, my wife and children, we're going to Africa and we're going on safari, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, those are the kind of things that we do to get away. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, on Sundays we like to go to church and we uh, do those kind of things together as a family so we could spend that kind of quality time together. There's many people that have influenced my life in a positive direction. I start off with home and my mother and my father. Uh, when I was at West Point, there were many questions asked and one of them was constantly asking me, did I have a military background? And I told them that if you grew up in my house with my father, who was a former Army sergeant, yes, it was uh, very militaristic, and he ran it like the Army, and uh, I'm here where I'm at today because of that. Uh, the other person, or one of the other people that were influence, influential in my life was Burl Toller. Uh, Burl was the first African-American National Football League official, and he was the first African-American principal in any school in San Francisco, California. Um, he was a man of principle. He was very humble. Uh, his son was my best friend and I grew up with them and uh, he was a big role model in my life and hopefully I've taken some of his positive traits and I've put it in my life and that's why uh, I have been able to experience the great things in my life because of some of his influence. Uh, I would go and say in intercollegiate athletics, there's two people that have been major influencers in my life. The first one is Tom Beckett. Tom has been the athletic director at Yale for over, I think, 10 or so years. He hired me. Uh, I, he taught me the business. Um, very uh, stoic man who, uh, again, had great principles and was very influential in my athletic life. And then the person who really, I think, made me start thinking about I really wanted to be an athletic director was John Kasser. Um, John was a phenomenal man with a phenomenal attitude. Uh, 
his glass was more than half full. I mean, each and every day his glass spilled over. Um, he uh, shared many things with me, some that I can't repeat, but uh, you know, he, he was a great man with a great attitude, a winning attitude, but you know, he always had time for everybody. And you know, he had a great presence about himself and he had a great partner. His wife was there with him every step of the way, Carol Kasser. And so it helped me uh, really understand how important it was bringing your family into the mix. And so uh, my hat's off and I really owe John a great deal uh, in, in my success as being an athletic director. You know, it, it's an exciting time to be at Maryland, but it's even more exciting to be part of college athletics. Making the move from the ACC to the Big Ten was huge for the University of Maryland. You know, if we look at it, one of the reasons why we made the move is that 13 out of the 14 schools are land-grant institutions, the same as Maryland, and the 14th is Northwestern, and nobody will dispute academically what that university stands for. So now, again, we're bringing in athletics and academics into play. And I think over the next 10 to 15 years, you're going to be looking at intercollegiate athletics uh, really be joint at the hip with the academic and the athletic component of each and every university. Uh, we could just see what's happened now. We've won four Big Ten championships in less than six months, being a new partner with the Big Ten. We're on t TV all the time through the Big Ten Network. So many of these parents who can't travel and see their young men and women play are now being able to share that at least through multimedia and the Big Ten Network. So, you know, it's really exciting. I'm just happy to be part of it and that uh, hopefully that I can contribute over the upcoming years to make this a better industry for all of us.